B is cruising toward his new ride with autosave. And Joe sees Chase Banker is helping him budget to go back to school. Tools that help protect, support for what's next. One bank that puts you in control. Visit chase.com slash checking. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Messaging and data rates may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. I studied Spanish in college and never got fluent. But then I tried Babbel. Want the most effective way to learn another language? In just 15 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons will have you learning another language in as little as three weeks. Babbel gets you speaking quickly about things you actually talk about in the real world. University studies have shown that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a semester of college Spanish. If you want to learn a new language, there's no better way than Babbel. Go to Babbel.com to try Babbel for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hi, it's Matt Thomas. Shell FCU has been growing since 1937. That's 86 years. They are a family who serves the community through service, lending, financial planning, and positive support. Shell FCU is growing together in 2023 and beyond. Visit shellfcu.org or you can call or text them at 713-844-1100. That's 713-844-1100. They appreciate the trust you place in them. That Shell FCU and you growing together. Hi, this is Eric Dick, a home insurance. To get you the money you deserve, don't delay. Call me today. Call me right away at 832-LAWYERS. Look, your home insurance company, they're going to have a lawyer. You should have one, too. Call me right now at 832-LAWYERS. This is Eric Dick, a home insurance lawyer. I've lived in Houston all my life. My office is in Houston. Call me today at 832-LAWYERS. Tell your insurance company to stop playing, start paying. Get a lawyer. Call 832-LAWYERS. Still overpaying for a racer? In this economy, gross. At Dollar Shave Club, you can get a top-shelf shave at a regular shelf price. We've been hawking shaving products for years online, and we're excited to bring you the same great quality and low prices at a store near you. From high-quality stainless steel blades to super smooth shave creams, Dollar Shave Club's in the business of making your shave easier. Find Dollar Shave Club in the men's razor aisle. Getting your Dollar Shave Club razor wherever you want. Isn't that great? <laughs> Rockets. The Houston Rockets! Welcome aboard! Young talent, the young core, they want to be the best. The Rockets! I'm excited. We're all Rocket fans. Super competitive. The two-hand finish! Oh, yeah! This is Houston Rockets basketball. We're a young and up-and-coming team. It's not going to be an easy night coming in here playing against the Rockets. Wow! Welcome to Rockets Countdown. Down to five. Down to four. We're going to be ready to play. Another deep three-pointer! Good gracious! Rockets Countdown, the official pregame show of the Houston Rockets. Brought to you by Corona. This season, when your Rockets are dropping dimes, you should be dropping limes in a bottle can or trapped. Lime in with Corona. Find your beach. The crowd is on their feet. Get ready for Rockets basketball. Let them play. Now, I'm just ready to get out there and play. Now, getting you ready for tip off. I think team take off. Here's Adam Wexler. Good evening. Welcome into Rock Countdown, brought to you by Corona. Adam Wexler here with you inside Toyota Center. We're right on our broadcast perch. We're sitting on the Bill Warrell broadcast deck. We're just above the court. Houston Rockets set to take on the Sacramento Kings, a real rarity in the NBA. Two teams playing each other four times this season, yet just one trip made to each respective city. Early in January, the Rockets made a trip to Sacramento, played them in back-to-back -back games, two games in three nights. They'll return the favor with games tonight and Wednesday night. The Kings here in town, though, the Rockets hope it's nothing like they saw in the first two games in Sacramento. Well, at least not the first three quarters of the last game in which these two teams met. The Rockets actually took a lead into the fourth quarter, only to get outscored by 21 points. We're beaten by 20-plus in both of those games in Sacramento. Those two scores for the Kings in those games, 135 and 139 
were the most points the Rockets had given up all season until Saturday night when the Rockets gave up 153 points to the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team they had beaten here at Toyota Center just three days prior, though the Thunder did not play any games in between, and the Rockets were playing on the second night of a back-to-back, but back in Houston and off of yesterday's day off the court, Rockets back tonight against this Kings team. This Kings team in a place they have not been a whole lot in their NBA lives. That is near the top of the Western Conference standings. Only Denver and Memphis are who the Kings are looking up at in the West. Kings come in at 29 and 23, two and a half games of Memphis for the second best record. And a good seven games back of the Nuggets. Nuggets, the only team in the Western Conference, 20 games above 500. And only one other team in the league is 20 games or better above 500. That is the Celtics. But the Nuggets now just a half game back of the best overall record in the NBA. Kings six games over. They like the Rockets, though, coming off the game. They absolutely, positively like to forget. How about their worst loss of the season? Prior to that game, they had not lost to anybody by more than 20 points. And then the New Orleans Pelicans pounded them 136 to 104. They've lost their last two games. Both of those games were played without Estonian, Silex Nate, De'Aaron Fox, who's out for personal reasons for those two games, both losses. He is here, he's worked out, and he is ready to start tonight for the Sacramento Kings. He shot better than 50% against the Rockets in the two games, scoring 24 points in each. The Kings shot 51% in the two games against the Rockets, a reason why they averaged 137 in those games. Set you up with the injury report on both sides. It continues to look pretty good for the Rockets and that just Kevin Porter Jr. continues to be out of action. As Steven Silas said before the game, when speaking with the media, a little bit like turf toe, and that, and that toe is still bothering him, still painful to him. He's not going to be able to play, and he will not be playing uh, tonight. The Rockets obviously welcome to Jalen Green back to the lineup on Saturday night. And, of course, with Eric Gordon and Jay Sean Tate missing the second game of that back-to-back, they're both uh, – Back in action tonight. We'll set the starting line to get the full injury report for both squads as we continue here on Rockets Countdown. Plenty to get to, and that includes a conversation with Rockets head coach Stephen Silas. All on the way here on Rockets Countdown, brought to you by Corona. Now this word from your local stations. At the Palm, our philosophy is simple. Treat guests like family, serve great food, and always exceed expectations. Celebrate milestones with family. Catch up with old friends. We'll meet new ones over our family. Famous Nova Scotia Jumbo Lobsters, quality cuts of beef, and classic Italian favorites, all while indulging in a robust Italian wine selection. Embrace generations of Italian tradition at any of our Palm locations nationwide. Reserve your table today at thepalm.com. The Houston Rockets are looking to bring a championship back to Texas. AT&T Sportsnet has all the exclusive coverage you need. From pre-game to post-game, watch every game, every shot, only on AT&T Sportsnet. Visit at and Sportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch Rockets basketball all season long. AT&T Sportsnet, the TV home of the Houston Rockets. Available on DirecTV, Uverse, and Xfinity. What does optimism look like? It looks like the ball floating through the air, backboard lit up in red, the entire arena holding its breath. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. Rockets Countdown brought to you by Corona continues. Adam Wexler here with you as the Rockets get set for their matchup. Third of the season against the Sacramento Kings. Rockets looking for their first win against the Kings tonight after losing both of those games in Sacramento. Tonight and Wednesday, the Kings will visit Toyota Center. Starting lineups tonight will set for you after we 
minutes at the table on the injuries. I mentioned the Rockets would be without Kevin Porter Jr. I should also mention they will be without Garrison Matthews. Toe giving him trouble. A little contusion on the left big toe. Soreness there. He is out for tonight's game as well. I mentioned the return of De'Aaron Fox tonight. Out the last two games with personal due to personal. Fox in the backcourt, Sabonis in NBA Western Conference All-Star this season. De'Aaron Fox, not yet a 2023 NBA All-Star, though, with the injury to Steph Curry. Most believe that uh, commissioner will name De'Aaron Fox as the replacement. That starting lineup of Barnes, Murray, Sabonis, Herter, and Fox have started 37 of the Kings' 52 games this season. They've gone for 23 and 14 in those 37 games for the Rockets. They also return to a familiar starting group as Kevin Porter Jr. continues to miss time. This five-person group has been out on the court quite a bit together. Forwards, Kenyon Martin Jr., Jabari Smith Jr., and of course, at center is Alperin Shengun. Their backcourt of Jalen Green and Eric Gordon back there together again. Eric Gordon, of course, out of action in the last game on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. His last three games have been spectacular and would love to pick right back up where he left off, scoring better than 26 points per game. And really, it's not because of his three-point shooting that his numbers went up. He actually is shooting fewer threes per game in those last three than he had before that. It's because he's been going to the basket, shooting a very high percentage, quite obviously, right at the goal and getting to the free throw line nearly eight times per game over those last three, which has allowed him to post nearly 26 points per game. And again, that's uh, back in the starting lineup uh, for Eric Gordon. For the Rockets, who have seen so many different combinations over the course of this season, as mentioned with KPJ, missing a significant portion of of time this group a little bit more familiar uh, with one another with uh, eric gordon jalen green in the backcourt together uh, shangun martin and smith this is the sixth game they've started together they've not yet won a game as a starting group of players much more still to come on rockets countdown brought to you by corona now this word from your local stations